एन एस एम टू टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन बी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज इट इज गिवन दैट वाई इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शन टू एक्स एन सो राइट डाउन द स्टेटमेंट वाई इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शन टू एक्स एन सो यूल राइट वाई इज इक्वल टू के एक्स एन Now they have said that the first part is y meet m square is the area of a square of length x m. Remember that this m square is the this m square is the unit of area, and this m is the unit of length. So you have they are they have said that y meter square is the area of the square of a length x m. Here it is the used uh, square. The word is used square. Square means that you have any object that is in square shape. and whenever you are having square it means that all sides are equal so you will use the formula of area area of square mean length multiplied by breadth okay the formula of area is length multiplied by breadth but if you have square square means that all sides are equal so here the length is given and that the area is given that is y and length is given that is x but as it is square so length and breadth would be same length and breadth would be same so if length is x breadth would be breadth would be x so you multiply x with x so here y is the area length multiplied by breadth x multiplied by x they have told you that x is the length so in square length and breadth are same so y is equal to you know that when the same variables multiply their powers add it is 1 and it is 1 1 plus 1 2 you will get x square so c y is equal to kx n so you write y is equal to x square as y is the area so instead of y you can write x square as y is the area and y is equal to x square so instead of y you can write x square so i have i have written x square instead of y and x square is equal to k x n okay now here you will apply the rule always remember that whenever you are having the same variables on both sides their values their powers are equal this is the rule of the equation that whenever you are having the same variables on both sides their powers will be equal here it is x and it is x both are the same variables and their powers are equal so n is equal to 2 i can write n is equal to 2 now in part 2 they said that volume of square there is a volume and length is x cm the formula for volume is length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height always remember that as it is square so the in volume length breadth and height will be equal see this is length breadth and height all sides are equal so in a cube all sides will be equal so here you will write x If length is x, breadth would be also x. Height would be also x because in square, length, breadth, and height have the same values. So in V, you will get volume. You will get one plus one plus one cube x cube. And they have denoted the volume with y. So you will write y. You will write y. Here you will use the same relation. Y is equal to k x n. as y is the volume and here volume volume is equal to the x cube volume is equal to x cube so instead of y you can write x cube and k x n you will use the same rule of the equation when you are having the same variables on both sides their powers will be equal here the power is n and here the power is 3 so it will be equal to 3 this is your answer